This is a video to review order of operations when simplifying an expression. When simplifying an expression, the first thing you want to look at is parentheses from the innermost to the outermost. Once you're inside of those parentheses, you want to look at exponents next and take care of any exponents that occur inside of them. Your next step would be look, to look at any multiplication or division occurring from left to right. And then, lastly, you want to look at addition and subtraction, again, from left to right. Once you have done that, you want to re repeat this process until all the parentheses are gone, working from the innermost to the outermost. Let's take a look at an example. So we'll simplify this expression here, and we have a fraction. When you're working with a fraction and you want to simplify an expression, really you just treat the numerator separate from the denominator. So you take care of order of operations in the numerator, and then you take care of order, order of operations in the denominator. Let's take a look. So for this first one, we got negative and then inside of brackets, we have 4 minus, and then inside parentheses, 6 minus 12 squared. So you want to start by looking at that 6 minus 12 because that's inside the innermost parentheses. So we're going to have negative, bracket, 4, all this is going to stay the same, minus, and then 6 minus 12 gives us a negative 6 squared. Close the brackets. This is all going to be over, and then in the denominator, we're going to use order of operations again. So remember, our first thing we look at is parentheses, and these brackets count as parentheses. And we want to go from the order of operations that come next. There are no exponents inside of here, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, but then there is some division, right? Multiplication division says go from left to right. So we're going to take care of division first because it came first. So 9 divided by 3. So it's going to be 3 times, and this is going to stay 5 minus 8. That's all in brackets, getting squared, plus 1. And we'll continue simplifying. So next. We're going to go back up to the numerator. This negative is going to be on the outside here. We have to go back inside of my brackets here because those are parentheses. And inside of there, the next thing we want to take care of is exponents. So we have negative 6 getting squared. So it's going to be a negative bracket. This is going to stay 4 minus a negative 6 getting squared. A negative times negative is going to make it a positive, right? A negative to an even power makes it positive. So it's going to be minus 36, right? That negative is that same negative side. A negative 6 squared gives 36. This is all going to be over. In the denominator, we have to go back into our parentheses, or our brackets here. Once we're inside of there, uh, there are no exponents. We're going to look at multiplication and division from left to right, and we have some multiplication, 3 times 5. So we're going to multiply those together. So 3 times 5 gives us 15. Minus 8 stays the same. We're squaring that bracket, plus 1. And again, we're going back into the numerator. So now in the numerator, I've got my brackets. I've got to take care of what's going on inside of there. Negative sign still out in front here. And then brackets 4 minus 36 is a negative 32. All right, and in the denominator, all right, we've got our parentheses here, or our brackets. And we have to take care of 15 minus 8, because that's our first, first step, is take care of the parentheses. So 15 minus 8, that'll give us 7 squared plus 1. And this will be equal to... We've got a negative times a negative up top. A negative, negative 32, a negative times negative makes that a positive 32. Over in the denominator, all right, now we don't have any more parentheses to worry about. Everything is taken care of inside of them. We just have 7 squared, so we're taking care of an exponent, which is going to be 49, plus 1. Up top, we're still 32, nothing else to do up there. 49 plus 1 is 50. Last step here is you should simplify uh, the final fraction you get, if possible. And in this case, 32 and 50 have a GCF of 2 that you can divide out of each of them. So this is going to end up being 60 over 25. And that would be your final answer here. Now you try one on your own. 